USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. The death toll is now six as another person has died of injuries suffered in a Wisconsin holiday parade tragedy on Sunday when a man drove his SUV directly into the parade. The suspect out on bail from a domestic abuse case at the time, and he was suspected in another violent altercation just shortly before the parade incident. On Tuesday, Waukesha Court Commissioner Kevin Costello spoke about how the suspect is a danger to the community. The nature of this offense is shocking. The detail I was not expecting here today. Two detectives, not lay people, detectives, not only tried to stop this, but rendered an opinion that this was an intentional act. This time, Daryl Brooks Jr. is being held. Police say they're confident he acted alone, and it wasn't a case of domestic terrorism, although the investigation is continuing. And this is USA Radio News. Com. A federal jury in Ohio is finding Walmart, Walgreens, and CBS Health responsible for fueling the opioid epidemic that has ravaged towns and cities all across the nation. The decision marks the first time that a jury has delivered a verdict in a case against the national pharmacy chains. A trial judge will now decide how much the pharmacy must pay in damages. Turkey for me. Turkey for you. Let's eat the turkey in my big brown shoe. President Biden and the First Lady Jill Biden will be eating their turkey on Nantucket, which is a family tradition. They arrived there on Tuesday evening after some community service at the D.C. Central Kitchen. The Biden family has celebrated Thanksgiving on the tiny Massachusetts island since 1975. They only missed the trip last year because of the pandemic. That turkey, then I take a nap. And this is USA Radio News. Now you 41. As possibly record crowds of Americans travel for the Thanksgiving holiday this year, many of them are going to face higher costs than usual. Here's more from USA Radio's Lance Pry. AAA is reporting a gallon of regular gas is going to be closer to $4 this year than the $2 paid last year. President Obama economic advisor Stephen Ratner on MSNBC says more government spending is not going to help inflation that Americans must now endure. We are running a higher inflationary economy at the moment, and so to add $150 billion to the deficit in each of the next five years is simply adding to the inflationary pressures on our economy. From the West Coast USA Radio News Bureau, I'm Lance Pry. Even in this day of online answers, it's going to be the 40th year of the Butterball Turkey Talk Line. Talk Line Supervisor Carol Miller says on Thanksgiving Day, over 10,000 people will phone in, and the number one question will be about thawing their bird. Miller says, if you wait till Thanksgiving Day, you've probably missed the boat on that one. A recent survey showing that many people are hosting smaller gatherings, though, this year, and one in ten callers will be hosting their first Thanksgiving dinner. In addition to the talk line's phone number, which, by the way, is one 800 Butterball tips will be posted on social media, including this year on TikTok. Remember, you can find us online at usaradio.com. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes.